G'day, Ben Futrell here. And in this video, we're gonna have a chat about the benefits of having a to-do list. So one of the uh, things I get asked a lot by a lot of people is how do you manage to get so many things done? And I do, I, I have a lot of hobbies and I have a lot of businesses and I get a lot done and I still enjoy my own time doing the things that I love doing. And you know, sometimes I get sort of, you know, I get ribbed because I run a calendar system for home and for my businesses. And it took me a while even to get my wife in the in the spirit of being a bit more organized. And I think it was the fact that maybe there was a couple of times where she wanted to do something and I said, is it in the calendar? And it wasn't in the calendar because she didn't use a calendar. You know, she used to handwrite things on the calendar in the cupboard. But I think eventually what happened was even, it got to the point where now my wife uses the calendar to track all of her events and we have a shared calendar. I mean, with technology these days, it is so easy to be organized. But having said that, it can also be very difficult to be organized because there are so many options. Um, and when you look at some of the, there's online to-do lists, there's, uh, there's one that I'm using at the moment that I love, it's called Wonderlist. Um, it's W-U-N-D-R-L-I-S-T, Wonderlist. Um, I'm imagining that you probably should say that with a German accent, like Wanderlist or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but I bought that in the, uh, the Apple iMac store. So it uh, runs on my iMac, it synchronizes between all my other devices, and uh, I can even send, uh, I can collaborate with others, so I can send you tasks and and uh, it keeps me up to date as to what things are getting done and when they're getting done, and I can, I can categorize them, I can do all sorts of things. Now, now even though I use that, my favorite to-do list is a handwritten one. And, uh, you know, I have a handwritten one, I use yellow paper, uh, which sounds strange, but it's the one color piece of paper that does not get lost on my desk, it's always easy to find. And I write out a to-do list every week, so on a uh, Monday morning, or maybe sometimes a Friday afternoon, I will jot down all the things I need to get done the following week. And then as I go through them throughout the week, I cross them out. And you know, there's a few reasons I do that. It's, to me, I'm fairly visual, so it means that I can see what's going on. Um, the yellow paper, unlike a, an application on my iPhone or on my computer, can't be minimized. It sits there all the time. So it reminds me, hey, you've got a to-do list, you've got things on your to-do list, you need to get them done. Now, by having that bigger to-do list for the whole week, I can then break it down on a daily basis and create a smaller to-do list for the day and be very focused as to what it is that I need to get achieved. I can allot time for it and away I go. So the, the, the top uh, four reasons I think you need a to-do list. Number one, get organized. I see so many people chasing their tails, putting out fires, they're just not organized. And I think it's because they don't have a clear picture of what they're trying to achieve that day. And a to-do list makes it very clear as to what it is you've actually got to get done that day and helps you then uh, work through that list and make sure you're getting the things that matter done. So it keeps you organized. And I think it's a key element of being successful is being organized. So you're not burning time uh, you know, working out what am I going to do next, or you're not getting distracted by things that aren't on your to-do list. If you've got a to-do list, stick to the to-do list, get those things done first, and it's going to make you extremely organized, which means that you're going to get the job done. The second thing that I think a to-do list is vitally important, or the second reason why you need one, is because it helps you to prioritize. Um, you know, there are many things you could be doing. Uh, you could write down a to-do list that had, you know, probably 50 things on it without too much of a trouble. You know, it, it, there's always plenty to do in life and more and more things happen as your day goes on. So, you know, you'll constantly be adding to a to-do list. Well, the good thing about having a list is that you can prioritize. It's very easy to look at all the things that are on the list and then choose what's most important or what's gonna be the best use of your time, um, which then brings me to point number three, is it helps you delegate. So for me, definitely, I look at my list and as I prioritize, I also go, hang on a minute, I'll put that on the list, but do I really need to do that task or could I give it to somebody else to do? And so it helps me delegate much more effectively. So by having a, the to-do list, it's a visual cue, look through, prioritize, and then delegate. Now the fourth reason, and I think this is probably the most important reason for me, is I find it rewarding. So number four is it's rewarding to be able to see what it is I've actually achieved in a day. So rather than just getting through the day, and, and I don't know if you've ever done this, got to the end of the day and go, well, what did I actually do today? What did I achieve? What did I, what, you know, where did that day go? Well, with a to-do list, I can pull the to-do list and go, wow, yeah, I did all of those. I did these 12 things or these eight things, whatever it was that was on that list. Yeah, I have achieved some great things. So by getting through my to-do list, I'm now feeling rewarded, which encourages me to do the same thing again tomorrow. And it's this cycle that I get into that I absolutely love. Now, I'm going to finish this video off by um, a mantra that I live by. 
and uh, I'm going to encourage you to adopt this way of thinking, and that is this. It is the things that you say yes to that will force you saying no to something else. And so when you say yes to something, ask yourself, what am I saying no to to say yes to this task? And I think it's, you know, this is a good way for us to manage ourselves because, you know, the to-do list will manage all the tasks, but it's no good if your to-do list has got tasks on there that you shouldn't be doing. So if somebody says, hey, you want to do this, or you come up with an idea, ask yourself, what am I going to have to say no to to say yes to that particular thing? And if you're saying no to something that's important to you, or saying no to making more money, or saying no to spending time with your loved ones, or saying no to exercise, or no to do your hobby, or just if you're saying no to something that's important to you, to say yes to something else, then maybe you shouldn't be putting it on your to-do list. Hopefully that's helped you understand why you should have a to-do list, and those few tips are helping you be more effective with your to-do list. Uh, I always welcome comments and suggestions and questions down below the video, so please leave those uh, in the uh, the comments section. Hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber. Um, also head to my website, actioncoachanz.com, and you'll see there's a bunch of different links for different things there. You can you know, find other uh, cool resources and tools and freebies that you can download, listen to, and watch. Uh, until next time, have a profitable day.